Okay, let's quickly add one before 9.30. Um, I'll try to do weekly contest, but I'm not going to record it yet because I'm still sucking at the uh, difficult questions. So uh, I, I uh, recorded a video about the 67 ad binaries earlier today, but uh, then later on I see this number, uh, this question of 415 ad strings. Uh, they are pretty much the same. Uh, four, 415 is just the, the decimal version of uh, uh, 67. I'm gonna put a link uh, down there or somewhere uh, in the video. I don't know how to edit it that yet, but uh, I tried later on put that in here to link to the video about the uh, uh, R binary. Uh, basically, what we're gonna do is to uh, simulate how humans would do this number number addition, uh, decimal number addition here. Uh, we're gonna align two numbers um, align the two numbers work from the right hand side towards the left just adding number when it's overflow we carry over the carry to the next position you just do that uh, um, to solve this problem uh, because this question is this uh, um, this is uh, explicitly saying that we sh uh, should not uh, convert the numbers to integers and uh, we're not allowed to um, since we are not allowed to convert directly to integer, we probably not allowed to, you know, just just directly adding these two numbers together. Um, so uh, we have to do this kind of uh, position by position uh, addition. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna copy my um, solution from 67 and try to modify it to get it working for this particular one here. Uh, what would are we doing okay on time? Yeah. So let me move myself over because we got a little bit modification needs to do. Um, instead of A and B, what we have here is num num one and num two, and uh, we are uh, filling filling uh, padding the shorter ones with uh, zeros here. And uh, let's just call this C1 and C2 then. Uh, this is a C1, C2, carry, and, and we're doing decimal version, so we uh, mod by 10. And uh, there is one problem that, that we should probably not call this function. So we need to create a, a string to, to digit uh, uh, mapping, which is a dictionary of value to index. Uh, for index and value in and, and ERAT enumerate uh, this string here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So zero is, uh, uh, string 0 is going to map to um, integer 0 and then 1 is going to be 1 and so on and so forth. So we we'll just uh, instead of uh, using this function we'll just call this hash map to do this uh, uh, conversion. Okay, and uh, the rest of the stuff uh, should be exactly the same. Um, so let's try run this. Yep, yeah, it's uh, it's working. So um, if you want uh, more details about uh, how this all stuff all works, go check uh, the video about the uh, R binary, and uh, you will have a pretty good idea about uh, how to do this. So yeah, that's for this question.